the mean of discrete series data. This is a discrete series data set on the number of dental clinics of a sample of 10 children in the last one year. We know that this is a discrete series data because we can see the variable and the corresponding frequencies, right? So how do we find the mean of this data? Recall that the mean is a measure of central tendency that indicates the average of the data set. So our task here is to find the average. Let's first modify the table a bit to make it easy for us to compute the mean. So let's put the number of visits here and the frequency here. And then we have all the data arranged neatly in a vertical manner, like so. Better. The mean of a discrete series data set is given by the formula. X bar is equals to sigma from i equals to 1 to n of f sub i multiplied by x sub i divided by sigma f sub i. This means the sum of the product of each frequency and each value in the data set from the first value to the last value of x all divided by the sum of all the frequencies which is the same as the number of values. Here x bar is the symbol for the mean of the sample. Sigma i equals to 1 to n is the sum of all the values from the first to the last. f sub i is the value of the i frequency, i.e. the frequencies of the index data values. x sub i is all the index data elements. And sigma f sub i is the sum of all the frequencies, which is the same as the sample size. So let us use this formula to find the mean of this data. First, let's label our table with the correct statistical notation to enable us to easily apply the formula. So our number of visits is our data value. So and let's label this as x sub i and the frequencies as f sub i. And since the numerator of the formula wants us to find the product of f sub i and x sub i, let us create a new column now to do the product of the frequency and the values of x. Let's call it f sub i of x sub i. So this will be 0 times 1, which is 0, 1 times 3, which is 3, 2 times 3, which is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 5 times 1 is 5. Awesome. Now going by the formula, we need to sum all of these to get the sum of f of x, which is our numerator. Adding all this together, we will have 20. Now the denominator for the formula is the sum of the frequencies, which is 10. The question even says that we have 10 children, right? Awesome. So our mean is 20 divided by 10, giving a mean of 2. Easy peasy. Now if you found this video useful, don't forget to like share and subscribe for more quick statistical tips and tricks and check out this video here if you want to learn how to easily compute the mean for individual series data with a formula and this other video here for the shortcut method of finding the mean for continuous series data and as always thanks for watching